सितारे जिसकी गर्दे राह हो वो कारवां तू है Assalamu alaikum dear students and parents hope you are doing great this is your english teacher neba from nurture international school so let's start with bismillah bismillah ir rahman ir rahim so my dear students and parents welcome to the class i greet you many many ramzan mubarak as today is our first roza and many of you are fasting so i really really request you to say the dua for yourself for your family for your teacher and for sir first like other who has been the great pillar of nurture international school and he always will let's start our class by opening your book oxford modern english we will open page number 6 you know that in the previous lecture we have done with learning about language so today we will move on to the next one which is d question uh, listening and speaking So what you have to do in this question listen to your teacher's statement ask a question when you hear the statement for example teacher's statement so my statement will be it is old and what your statement will be what are you going to answer what are you going to question that is is it old basically what we are doing here we are talking about the helping words What are the helping words? Helping words are the words which helps you to complete a sentence. If we talk about it further, we can say that whenever we are using the present tense or we are talking about the present, so we will use is, are, did and does. And when we are talking about the past or we are narrating something which happens into the past, so we will going to use was and were. Okay so i am going to make the simple sentences of these helping words we are going to change it into the question for example my statement was it is old and your statement is is it old so how are you going to make the question you will take out the helping word at the first and then you will repeat the whole sentence for example it is old so is is the helping word and you have to take you you have taken out is at the first it and old is it old okay so we were going to move on to the first one is my statement is it is hot can you let me know that what is the question of the statement can you make the question out of it will be is it hot with a question mark at the end so if i say these are yours now what you going to say exactly you will put the are at the first and then repeat the whole sentence are these yours so by this way you are going to complete the whole sentences with your mama with your sister at your home and that's only for the listening and speaking so you are not allowed to do it on your copy but practice it at the home that was your oral part today we will start your workbook which is this book so open page number Two, which is of Faisal's biscuit. This exercise is very much familiar to you. Punctuation, as we have done this one from your book, and we know the three rules of punctuation. The first rule is that whenever we end the statement, we will put a full stop. Whenever we end a question, we will put a question mark. at the very start of the statement we start it with the capital letter and we start the names of the people and the places from the capital letter we have done this exercise first but the sentences are changed this is your workbook page number 2 so read these sentences i'm going to read the sentences for you and then you will rewrite it over here lahore is a beautiful place so lahore 
is the name of the place. We will put this L in the capital form. Lahore is a beautiful place. Put the full stop here. The Shahi Kila is in Lahore. So make this T capital because it's on the very first. Shahi Kila is the name of the place. That's why this S and this Q will be capital. Shahi Kila is in Lahore. Again, Lahore is the place of the name. So L will be capital and put a full stop at the end. Now we see, how old are you? Now that's a question. So make this H capital first. How old are you? And put a question mark at the end. Number D. Do you know where Jack and Peter are? So that's a question again. Put this D in the capital form. Do you know where Jack is the name of the person? So J will be capital and Peter. Peter is the name of the person again. So this P will be capital R and put the question mark at the end. Number E. Rihan was born in Karachi. So, Rihan is at the first and Rihan is the name of a person too. So, it will be the capital. The R will be the capital. Rihan was born in Karachi. And put this K capital as it is the name of the place and put the full stop at the end. F when did Faraz break his leg? That's a question again. W will be in the capital form. Did Faraz is the name of the person. F will be capital. Break his leg. Question mark. G. The book is not in the room. That's a simple sentence. So we will put this T in the capital form. Is not in the room. And put a full stop at the end. So that's how you're going to do this exercise. And you will rewrite the sentences over here. As you are given the same lines. A, B, C, G, E, F and G. Remember the punctuation rules and start doing it. Remember that whenever you are doing your work, you have to do your work very neatly. Now grab your pencils and start doing your work. Thank you.